regular bush camping tools here today. Well, I've got with me out in the forest, as you can see here, this, which is Extrema Ratios MK 2.1. Can you see that there? Right. This may look familiar in some ways, a bit like maybe the United States Marine Corps World War II fighting knife, very famous. Anyway, Extrema Ratio have done a remake of this as such, and I'm going to tell you about that now. So we got an N690 cobalt steel blade here. The tang goes through a fiber reinforced, glass fiber reinforced nylon handle, very, like this barrel shaped handle, very, very grippy. We've got 300 series stainless steel fixings here and a uh, flat bomber, which is great. This is their desert camo version with this like sandy colored grip on there. The other one has got a black grip and a completely mil spec blackened blade. Now this blade here you can see has got this their geo camo design on there and they put that on there with a laser. This is this color results from how the laser interacts. It's laser etched into the blade. It's worn a bit on there because I've been using the knife a lot. It won't stay on there forever. A common scabbard design for Extrema Ratio's military uh, base knives, which are intended for military applications like this knife is. And that is this thing, cannot get anything caught on it. It's hard to get things caught on it with this flap here on the top, right? So it's intended for people, paratroopers, etc. Uh, this is a very safe scabbard because inside of here, I'll show you in a minute, is a plastic, hard plastic insert. So if you fall on this, you can't. The knife cannot go out of the scabbard and accidentally injure the wearer. So let's look at this now. Okay, so we've got to clip this flap on here like that. Double press start here. And this plastic insert. Take out the knife, squeeze it. Let's put the knife down there for a minute. And I'll show you how this thing comes out. Can you see that there? Right, so I'm going to pull out this. This can come out. It's a bit of force wriggling it. So it's like a removal pin. You don't need any tools. Hold on a minute. Squeeze it. Right, so this goes in here like this, and that rubber insert holds that in there. Six mil thick, you know, it's a six mil thick uh, slab of N690 from Bowler, Mutton City Stainless Steel, and it's six mil thick right down to about here. Okay, so it's a pretty thick blade, and it feels quite weighty in the hand. Well, I see how it chops. The weight feels okay. This is a bit of fallen uh, birch. Let's see. That feels okay. There's a good bit of weight in that, as I said, down to the tip. So I'm letting the knife do the work itself. pretty easy feels all right see that there no gloves on we're gonna be able to snap that in a minute hold on just let the knife do the work itself We've got a, another sep up here. This one's a beauty. You see that there? Let's see if it's got any bugs in it. Looks all right. See that? Yeah, that's okay. Just clean it up a bit. Maybe another day it wouldn't be any good, right? Okay, see that? It's a beauty, isn't it? All right, let's take that. 
Right, here's a couple of bolly to edible ones. Here, you see, and over here. We're going to take those. Now, because this has got nothing sharp, essentially, on the butt end here, this is not going to dig into you. And the guard, because it's in here like this, it's actually rounded, this divot, you see that there, doesn't go all the way to the end, so that's, that's okay to hang on to that, and the guard doesn't, you know, dig into your hand. So that's pretty easy to do that. Make a spear straight away, and it's, you know, a point. It's okay, right? So it's not too bad at carving too. Anyway, let's move on. It's a knife designed with an end use in the military. Uh, and one thing I do like about it, you see is this butt end here because it's flat, this pommel, okay? Right, that's enough. All right, so, so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna just shove that into there like that and give that a good twisting into this. Now this is green. This is a fallen beach, so that is green. But there's no worries with that on there. And even, you know, I could go even like this, you see that there, to, because this has got this barrel shape on there, but I can apply, you see that there, lots of pressure on this here and I'm not gonna injure myself, and I like that on this, and that's why I think this actually is a, uh, you know, a lot of military knives, and especially this one, because it is, after all, uh, you know, a remodeling of a classic uh, knife, which many of you may already own, uh, the USMC fighting knife, and, and what I do like about in a camp knife is having a flattened pommel at the end there like that, because when it's flat, when it's flat, you can uh, you you can apply a lot of pressure. All these funky uh, glass breakers and you know skull crushes at the end of knives, they are funky and they may be okay in the urban situation. But out here, you see, in the wilds, uh, it's it's not very funky. It's not very practical because you're going to injure your hand if you put your hand try to add pressure into you see that into the knife like that. You can't. You know, it's, it's difficult to do that. No problems, because this is quite a good grip on it. I don't need gloves. I'm not going to lose that in my hands whatsoever with this barrel-shaped grip like that. Now, the thing about this knife, uh, if you do get it wet in, in dirty water or salt water, because the tang does go in through the handle here, this fiber, glass fiber reinforced handle, dirty salt water will, after a while, Effect N690. It's pretty corrosion resistant against salt water. Uh, not as corrosion resistant as the 300 series stainless alloys. But the thing about it is, you don't need any tools to pull it apart, right? There's no Allen keys. You simply can unscrew this here, right? And I'll show you this. You see that? So the butt cap unscrews. This is all one piece, stainless steel. And then you've got let me show you the handle there. Can you see that there? That's the handle. All right, let's see if there's any water in. There's no water in there now. As I said, we won't just screw it in gently. Don't want to cross thread the thing. And the thing about this is we can place this, this, this part here. Wait on. This acts like a bit of a washer. This, you can put a safety cord in here, of course, so you can't lose it. I'm going to line that up with the guard here and hold that there and just screw that in. So I can place this anywhere I want on there. It doesn't have to be there. I screw that in. Just think it tight is more than good enough. Okay. This is, this is wet, can you see that there? This is wet, but we're gonna split it 
and let it dry naturally. Big chunk of birch. You see that, can't you? Yeah. I mean, whoever says, let me just rescabbard this thing. Can you see this here? All right. Just put it in here for safety. You see what's going on. All right. Whoever says this is a wussy knife is mistaken. So that's going to split that out and that's going to dry naturally. We'll leave that there. And we can come back to it. Yeah, okay. I want to summarize now about the MK 2.1. Here it is here from Extrum Ratio. Okay, I've had it out now for a couple of weeks. And I've got to say, uh, obviously the intended end use is a military knife, military purposes. But for me, I, you know, I like the shape of this blade. I think it's really great. And all the attributes of the knife lend itself well to a big, heavy duty, all weather, camping knife. You see me do many things in it from cutting artificial materials to carving, uh, you know, sticking the tip into something like this and, and drilling so you could, you know, make a holes for like bidwa bird poles, whatever. Uh, you can cut vegetables, meat, cheeses, all sorts of things that you would do when you're camping, gathering food, that kind of stuff. And, and despite this funny looking handle on here, it's actually really quite grippy and it's quite comfortable. I don't wear gloves during my test because I really want to assess whether or not the knife is truly comfortable in an ungloved hand because if you lose your gloves you're in trouble uh, yeah so what can i say not much more than that it's a really it's a really great knife it's more than strong enough you see me splitting wood with it belting the you know hell out of it on the end here it, it's not going to break you know uh it's it's a super strong knife hell it's you know it's 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 a super strong knife it's uh as i said you know intended purposes are and use of military and the last thing I just want to say about the whole thing is that one great thing about Extrema products which I really like on there are the sheaths you see the sheath there you know the sheath is just as good as the knife you know the sheath is really good it's not going to fall apart on you it's very well made and it's a very safe sheath if I trip over here and all these logs moving around with this and the knife's in here it's not going to accidentally penetrate the scabbard so let's have a quick, another quick look again Extrema Ratio MK 2.1, uh, big heavy duty camp knife, really love it. Uh, yeah, maybe it's right for you too. Okay, thanks for watching. Bush Camping Tools here.